Hey, it's Richard Light and Gadget, and we finally found a spot that's uh, sort of fairly quiet in order to film this hands-on video for you guys. And so here it is, the Asus Pathphone 2, and uh, overall it's very, very similar to its uh, predecessor. As you can see, uh, the back still has the same sort of ripple design uh, that goes with the Zen design language uh, that Asus is currently uh, sort of applying across all uh, its products. And there's also a metallic uh, aluminium bezel all over. So that's also very similar to the original pad phone. Now, uh, but the main difference is that the screen has been bumped up to 4.7 inches and it's also at t uh, 720p resolution. Uh, this is now LCD, uh, Super IPS Plus technology. So it's very, very sharp and crisp much better than the uh, Super AMOLED panel on the original pad phone. And you guys can probably also see here um, the buttons, uh, the, these Android soft buttons are no longer virtual so you can basically tap on them whenever you feel like it. So in a way it's sort of saving uh, screen space and we like that. Now the front facing camera is now uh, 1.2 megapixels resolution so uh, the uh, self people who like self portraits will be delighted and the camera on the back is now at 30 megapixels so that's a huge jump from the original 8 megapixels and uh, the sensors made by Sony for those who are interested. Uh, and there's also a sim, sim tray here so you need to get hold of a uh, paper clip in order to get the tray out and also this is now using micro sim as we've been told so if you've got a regular sim from the original pad phone then you have to chop it down a bit and uh, in terms of software this is still running ice cream sandwich but we've been told to expect a jelly bean update soon but there's no solid date yet uh, but still the response is very slick Oh, and by the way, in case you haven't heard, this thing is running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro APQ8064 quad-core processor. So it's one of the uh, best processors you can get on a mobile phone these days. And there aren't that many phones that feature this yet, so Asus kind of got lucky with the supply, we guess. And uh, there's also 2 gigabytes of RAM, so again, a huge selling point here. And uh, there's LTE radio in here as well. But... Um, the compatibility um, uh, uh, to certain bands will depend on which sort of model you get. But the worldwide version will support LTE at 800, uh, 1800, and 2600 megahertz bands. So oh, let's turn this back on. And um, so uh, stay tuned for the availability for other models. So while the interface hasn't changed much, there are some nice software additions and we're going to show you guys a couple. So for this one, uh, you see this button on the left here. This is actually what they call uh, the instant dictionary and it's very much what it says on the tin. You can uh, enable it by tapping on this button at the task bar or whatever it's called these days. And so basically you can, uh, if you want to look up a word, you just simply tap on here and in our case we are looking up some Chinese words so let's say we uh, want to look at what these two characters mean oh in okay um, that's pretty much there fun fair okay interesting and let's just highlight that so yeah activities and when you're done you just tap the button again obviously it works better once you zoom further in and let's just try again just should say price yep and they should say buy. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, doesn't make much sense there, but you get the idea. So it's very slick, very uh, easy to use. Uh, all you need is just a live data connection. There's also this thing called Asus Studio, which just uh, we just came across. Let's just agree to that. And. Uh, in a way, let's see what's going on here. So well, we haven't got any photos here, but as you can see, it actually displays photos in sort of like a magazine style. And uh, we're sure it'll look pretty nice once we actually get uh, actual photos on it. You can see uh, it can um, arrange photos by time, location, etc. Now, obviously, this is the pad phone, so we cannot forget to, uh, that there's also a huge tablet here. We say huge, but this is actually 
a huge improvement from the bulky uh, original Padphone station. This is very, very light. Um, it's hard for you guys to sort of feel it, but uh, basically trust us on this. It's very light. Uh, the tablet plus the Padphone, let's actually dock it in to show you guys how fast it is. Oh, here it is. Yep, so very fast again. And the response is just as slick as it is on the phone. The This tablet plus the phone now weighs less than the new iPad, whereas the um, the original Padphone plus the original Padphone station combined together weighs more than the original iPad. So you can you guys can imagine how much of a massive improvement this is. Now, um, this is still a 10.1 inch uh, IPS panel. Uh, so, uh, but the colors, we're, we're seeing a sort of a slightly different temperature on the, on the colors. Now at the bottom here, the uh, massive dock connector is gone and it's been replaced by a smaller but uh, still a funky 13 pin uh, sort of, uh, socket that's designed by ASUS. But it is still compatible with micro USB. What they've done is they've basically just combined uh, sort of micro USB and HDMI and the sort of the radio signal antennas together in order to save space. So the same goes with the phone. You guys can probably just see it inside the uh, bay as well as at the bottom of the phone. Now, actually, we almost forgot to mention there's some sort of uh, weird mechanism going on here, like along the two sides of the bay, uh, which actually lets us sort of keep the phone. Because so we. We're really, we're really shaking quite hard here, and the phone is still staying inside. So uh, there's some sort of a rubber grip that's got some teeth on it, and uh, it looks like once you push it in, the uh, the sort of the grips uh, start working and basically just keep hold of a phone. But still, it, uh, putting sliding phone in and out is very very easy for some reason. Yet we can't shake the thing out. Oh, okay, so enough of that. Um, but as you can see, no cover on the back now. Uh, so yeah, you just slide the phone here. It's not entirely flush with the back though. That's um, one concern. But uh, we we'll have a feeling that this little sort of chin here will help reduce any wear and tear on the phone itself. But uh, only time will tell, and we shall find out in our review whenever we get hold of our uh, review unit. There's still a mono speaker here, and it's very loud and crisp, as we found out earlier. Volume rocker. Power button, and that's very much basically it. Oh, and uh, that's a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera, not not that far off from the one on the phone. So there you have it. We think we've basically covered everything here. So this is the ASUS PadPhone 2. Very very awesome. Stay tuned for more.